If you were to have one superpower as an artist, what would it be? Would it be super speed, critical eye also known as the Sharingan, immortality, maybe x-ray vision, or even absorbing powers from other artists? How about regeneration or teleportation? Or maybe even time travel? Well, maybe it is even something completely different from all of the above. I'll talk about a few superpowers and how they can affect your art and as I do that, I'll scup the rabbit hero Mirko from My Hero Academia in the background using both ZBrush and Blender. Anyways, before I talk about each superpower, there's a catch. Whatever power you have, it has to have its limits. You will notice that in a lot of superhero shows, their powers range from average to extraordinary depending on the world they are set in. Stronger superheroes will have stronger opponents, or difficult obstacles that require their superpower to be that strong. Their great superpower might also be balanced with a weakness that they already have, or the superpower itself comes with a handicap. Either way, this is one of the reasons superhero shows are interesting to watch. The struggle. If things are too easy, it would honestly be boring. Let's take an example. If your art superpower is speed, being the fastest artist alive, you'll be able to create tons of artworks, practice a lot in a short amount of time, and hence improve fast. You will also be able to consume and read art books at an incredible speed learning from other artists all around the world. The drawback for this superpower might be the wrist pains you get from overworking yourself in a short amount of time without rest, and the extreme headaches you will get from absorbing too much information in that amount of time. As you can see, the superpower of speed in this case will have strengths that work in favor for your art and weaknesses that work against your progress as an artist in one way or another. What if you had Sharingan, the superpower of having an all-powerful eye? With this superpower, you'll be able to draw without reference, see the drawing clearly before you even draw it. It will be like tracing on paper using only your vision. You will become the next Kim Jong-gi. Damn it, I knew he had a superpower. You'll also be able to criticize your own work efficiently. No need to have others criticize your arts to improve anymore. You'll also be able to observe objects like no other human being can. You'll become the ultimate self-taught artist. Now, a weakness that comes with that superpower might be the risk of losing your eyes if you overuse that power, so, you know, you have to be extra cautious. Immortality might be a cool superpower to have for aspiring, passionate artists. Opposite to the super speed power that I talked about earlier, you don't have to practice fast since, you know, you have all the time in the world to practice at your own pace. You get to have hundreds, nay, thousands of years of experience. The catch to this superpower would be how overloading your brain with hundreds of years of information will drive you nuts, as in crazy. Okay, I take it back, this superpower sucks. X-ray vision superpower is every artist's best friend. You won't have to study anatomy anymore. I mean, think about it. But what would the catch be for this superpower? Well, nothing, it's just cool, okay? An interesting superpower will be the ability to absorb powers from other artists. This is the superpower for all of the lazy ones out there. If you don't want to go through all of the trouble of learning art yourself, then why not just steal it from, you know, the skills and knowledge of other artists? Uh, wait, <laughs> I think the superpower already exists. The drawback for this superpower is being the most hated super artist out there. Another superpower that you can have is regeneration. With this superpower, you'll never get tired, get lazy, injuries, art blocks, or any of that. Each minute you practice is like a new one. You know how you can be super motivated in the first hour of practicing art, then things slow down from there? Well, this is the power that basically allows you to stay in that one hour. You stay in that one mindset all the time. You will be constantly motivated and energized. You will also retain information better and learn faster. You basically get more time during your human years to practice efficiently. Nuts, an extraordinary power to say, but it's efficient enough. Since it isn't a broken superpower, I guess it doesn't necessarily need to have a drawback or a catch. What about the superpower of teleportation? Well, in this case, you get to actually visit places and study them up closely instead of having to rely on images online. If you want to create a jungle-like environment, you can teleport to any jungle in the world and study everything from the plants, to the colors, to the moods, the lighting, the animals, insects, and everything else about that jungle. Your art will look a lot more believable. It will stand out from the others. Just like with the regeneration superpower, this one isn't specifically too strong to actually need a weakness. 
As for the superpower to time travel, you'll be able to go back in time or forward to the future and see things that don't exist anymore or don't exist yet. Your sci-fi art will be like no other. You'll create some awesome futuristic drawings or go back in time and learn from the masters themselves. In my opinion, there isn't a best superpower to have per se. As I said at the start of this video, superpowers always come with a catch. The one you should ideally have is the one that will personally work for you in your life. If you enjoy sci-fi and futuristic arts, maybe time travel would be your best choice. If you are an impatient person in general, then maybe being super fast is your ideal superpower. What kind of artist you currently are might help you choose what your best superpower will be. So let me ask you again, if you were to have one superpower as an artist, what would it be? Leave a comment below talking about your superpower, how you will use it, and what drawback it comes with that balances things out. If you enjoyed the video, give it a smashing like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more fun and educational art videos. For now, I will leave you with some renders of the Rabbit Hero Mirko from My Hero Academia, and I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome character sculpts and art related videos. You can also check out my store for full courses on character sculpting, texturing, materials, brushes and more. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video then you will definitely enjoy the next one.